Hey guys. Hi Terrence. Grandpa J, happy Friday. Hi Fnatic. Hi Glitch. Hey lol. Okay, uh, can you guys hear me at all? I'm gonna start a little bit early because I need to kind of test some uh, sound levels and stuff just in case. I was, uh, I was busy cleaning my PC and stuff yesterday. So I was like unplugging stuff. Um, and then like, yeah, some of my uh, sound settings and everything was like reset. You guys can hear me, right? Uh, how's the, how's the music levels, by the way? I'm a leak. Hey, cheese. Is the, the music too loud or is it too soft? It's kind of weird because I can hear it fine on like my end, but sometimes when like my viewers like from their side, sometimes a little bit too loud or a little bit too soft, they can't hear. It is a bit low. Um, Someone is saying, got your beacon. So he's saying it's actually fine. Others are saying it's too low. I don't want to make it too... The thing is, I don't like having my music too loud. Um, because I prefer actually for the viewers to kind of experience the game sounds. Hey, Goose. So I was debating on whether I should run the Sirius or the Arthur. Now, Sirius did get a, a, it got a pretty significant buff, but I haven't run the author in quite a while, so that's why I have the author in. I tank. Uh, hi, is it Kratu? Sorry, I don't know how to pronounce your name. Not want me to run this serious. What's wrong with Arthur, guys? Now I gotta change my name. Okay, let's see. What am I gonna run on here? Um, depending on whether I should run Evora or the uh, Vajra. Hey Kyle. It's your grandmother's phone. You just stole your grandmother's phone. Okay, yeah, wait, we gotta change our name now. Yes. <laughs> Am I going to do the uh, giveaway? Wait, why does it look squished? Oh, weird. Yeah, so later later on, uh, when we get more viewers, because we just started, actually, technically, the live stream is not supposed to start until like 10. Uh, then I'm, I'm going to go over the, the rules. You will need to answer a question. Uh, when you put your pilot ID in your platform. Uh, otherwise, your entry won't count. And uh, you actually will have two ways to enter. Uh, that will be in the live chat. And then when the stream is done, you can enter again. And then next week uh, is when I will announce the winners. Um, I'm actually still waiting for Pixonic to give me a code. Uh, they gave me two codes, but the one code didn't work. It like had expired. Uh, and I gave away the 100 Chen Lows uh, this week. The other 100. 
Sirius got buffed. Oh yeah, the healing it definitely got buffed a lot. That's like the fourth or fifth buff. <laughs> this is why I tell players don't sell your old like equipment. And you know, like oftentimes players will have equipment and it gets nerfed down and then they start selling it. That's one thing you do not want to do in this game uh, because they buff stuff. And when they buff it, <laughs> it can keep on going like, you know, until it becomes almost meta. In some cases, it actually does become meta. Um, a good example, you know, the Halo, Corona, and Glory. Remember how that was nerfed? And then one day I noticed they buffed it. And, I, you know, it was on my radar when they started buffing because they got three more buffs after that. And it got to the point where players were running. I think it was the Lynx with Glory. And that became meta. Like, it was the top build. You wouldn't have thought Glory would at, like, after so many years. It became meta again. Um... For some reason, they keep buffing these weapons here, the radiation. I, I actually don't understand why, but yeah. The Scorpion works with Kestrel. Actually, I saw a comment um, this morning about the Kestrel on, I think it was Loki. They said every time you go into stealth or you go out of the mode, you heal or something. And you can repair all your great damage. Or someone was mentioning something. I don't know what that is. I have to read that post again. Okay. Um. I guess I'll just get started uh, here. Or at least uh, play a couple games. We'll do the, the giveaway later on. Um, I'm going to try to keep the stream to about one and a half hours or so. Usually I, I play for like an hour. But you know how that goes. Let's just say one and a half to two hours. Okay. Uh, so we're going to be running the Shen Lo today. Uh, this thing, you might have seen me run this uh, in the one video this past week. Um, someone pointed out that it actually has a 500,000 Aegis. So I know there's a potential to reach 500,000. Um, the Shen Lo, just so that you know, every time you do teleport, you get an Aegis shield. Okay, so we have 55,000 here. We also have the stake and the spike uh, weapons. Each of those weapons are going to provide a shield. Okay, so we're going to have even more shield. Hey, cold. Okay, so we have a shield from our weapons, shield from our, from our bot. I also have two fortifiers. Um, so the fortifier, uh, basically, if you have... Um, any kind of shield except for absorber we're talking mostly energy shields aegis uh, physical shield as well it will boost it okay so if you have like a physical shield this is going to boost the uh the durability of those shields by 25 percent we don't have a physical shield uh, but we do have uh the aegis okay so the regeneration 20 percent uh i guess faster and then we get 20 percent more durability on those aegis that's for each one of them, so it's going to pretty much stack. Um, and then I noticed when I was going through my drones, I was like, wait a minute. Don't we have a drone that gives a uh, shield? So, yeah. The Seeker. The thing with the Seeker is, this also gives me quantum sensor, so I can see players in stealth. Uh, that means I can take out, like, uh, Lynx, Emugis, you know, Lokis, anything that's around me in stealth, Crisis. As long as I'm within 350 meters, I can see them. Uh, so I can pierce through shields too, because of these weapons. And then on top of that, I have uh, the shield uh, skills. So we have energy shield expert, and I don't think, yeah, I think this is the only one. I don't think there's another one after that. Yeah, the, the Shen Lo has some interesting skills. I thought there was gonna, the energy shield expert, and then there was another one that charges it up. But I guess they knew that that was a bad idea. <laughs> so, I mean, I can only imagine what kind of shield I'd had if, if they had that other skill. So I'm just reading, uh, reading the chat. Dagon with the shield pilot. Uh, you're talking about... Yeah, I have, yeah, Crazy Electrician and energy, energy Shield, but I don't have, it's weird because the, 
I'm saying this one doesn't have the other skill. I didn't see it. So let's just say, for example, I wanted to change maybe this one here. I don't know. Maybe it does show up. But I'm pretty sure I didn't see the other. Yeah, I don't. Those are the only skills I have. Hi, Ned. Yeah, no, no, there isn't. Uh, there isn't. Uh, oh, you're the Favnir. So a lot of players ask me why don't I use the other pilot. It's because the other pilot is only for when I fly. This is a very specialized Favnir build. Uh, just to be clear, it's not the traditionalist. Uh, the traditionalist gives me more health. I'm actually running the Daredevil on here. So the Daredevil, I can't fly, but I'm going to get 18.75% more damage output. Um, you can only imagine with like what I'm running right now, this is... Well, you'll see. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. And when it works, it really works. Like, I wipe out everything. Which weapon would I suggest for the Dagon? Um, well, the strongest weapon for the Dagon, even when the Tamer was around, was actually the Blight, uh, in my opinion. Tamers were good because it prevents you from healing, but the Blight does so, so much damage so quickly. Um... I think if a Blight was like charged up, I think you could probably wipe out a Tamer build. Uh, but it's not just that, you wipe out a lot of other stuff too. Boss Baby, thank you so much for your donation. Wait a minute, is that Roger? Whenever I see that like uh, that emote, <laughs> I always think it's Roger. Yeah, this has a lot of builds that... Uh, so anyways, uh, getting back to your question about the Dagon. Uh, Blight, Magnetars work really well. Magnums, believe it or not. Um, I ran that. Works really well. Um, I It's weird because I tried like flamethrowers. I tried uh, the Toxins. I tried Spark. And it was weird because I kept leaning towards like Magnums or like Blight. Magnetars are good, don't get me wrong. But the Blight is far superior. Like, by a mile. <laughs> it's not even close. I know players will tell me otherwise, but, you know, you can say what you want, but when I see it in game, I'm like, no, man, nope, blight, blight it is. Alright, let's hope the game sounds on too loud. We're just gonna run a couple of games. Um, you know, we're gonna get some more viewers later on, and then we can do the uh, giveaway. I actually want to attack this guy here. I know there's a guy on that side. This guy's camping. Man, I had my shield too. Okay, let's drop in over here with this one. This guy's gonna go in a flight. Trying to figure out what this guy's in. Must be a tank? Uh oh. I need to escape! I need to escape! Man, we lost that right beacon. Don't mind me. Need to reload. Oh, 
Got to get that Typhon first. Ooh, ooh. There's a lot of stuff here. Oh, come on. 99%. I was at 99%. I could have healed. So close. That's not good. They're kind of in our spawn while getting there. I'm trying to get I'm trying to get another beacon here. Um, this way we can balance that beacon bar a bit. We lock this guy down. Wait, why would you drop a behemoth with Prisma? I think he kind of panicked. I actually want to drop in with that Sirius, but uh can't exactly do that right now. We need beacons. I'm gonna lock him down. I wonder if I can launch this over. Oh, we can. I was hoping he would actually jump at me. I think he's got a Daredevil one too. Steal it! Ah! Oh. <laughs> Holy Jesus, this guy's got a lot of bots left. Mine, 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 mine! Oh man. They were down a player. I find a lot of the games that I play. I posted like the one video. Someone was asking me if the last like two or three guys were tankers. A lot of players leaving games. And you would think it's because like they don't have the equipment. But you know a lot of them I check their, their equipment. And they actually have like MK2 or MK3. Like they have meta stuff. But they just leave. I don't know, understand. Okay, we've got a guy with stealth in front of us. What is that? Oh, you know what? That's probably a Lynx or something, right? This guy. 
He was looking up. He is looking for me. This guy's got a crisis. Oh my. Wait, they got our back beacon. He's trying to get through my shield, but I have so much shield. Uh oh. Scorpion! <laughs> oh my gosh. He's gonna teleport to me. I teleported to him. We'll teleport again. Man, this guy's confused. <laughs> so many teleports. Oh my gosh. Ah! Shield. Oh, we got him. Whoa, what the? What's going on over here? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh my gosh. Yeah, we need some beacons. Oh, this guy's trying to heal me up. Nice. Yeah, we need beacons fast. We've only got two players left. I'll go for this one. So, uh, poor Mendes trying to run. <laughs> Dude, how did we go from... We've only got three... I got caught. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> I got caught. Oh my gosh, that loot. Dude, I just shredded him up. Hold up, hold up. Reloading, reloading. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, sorry dude. Traded. Just how is he even healing that up? Come on, reload. We need to deal with this real quick. Uh, setup that this guy's running with the uh, decay a lot asked me about the links with decay i wouldn't run it um i tried actually decay on seraph and it wasn't really good compared to uh compared to redeemers redeemers is definitely far superior 
We're gonna lose. We don't have enough time. Man, that, that Favnia build, now you understand why I run Daredevil on there. Oh, Jesus. We were down like two players, three players, two players. Wait, what is this guy running? Yeah, he might have... That's a lot of flying bots. Wow. There's like not really many tanks in here. Actually, there's no tanks. So I can kind of understand why he got wiped out. Uh, Kestrel Hills, Loki, more than... I think it has to do with the pilot or something. I saw a post on Reddit about it, but I didn't read through the entire post. For the ones who have just joined asking, how do you enter? I will be putting up the uh, instructions later on. Cryptic rede yeah, Redeemers are far superior than Decay, uh, but it really depends too, because I noticed like so if you have like fewer number of uh, weapon slots, like for example, two on the Seraph or like a Lynx, I find the Redeemers work better. Uh, but if you have like, say, three, three or four, then you're kind of leaning more towards like uh, Decay. Do some Vajra. If I do Vajra giveaways, then I can't do the newer content. So, and it's very few that will want to go for uh, that. That's how it works. So if I give Vajras away, then no Shen Lows or no Bedvers or whatever uh, is the meta. Man. Yo, why'd you move? The only reason why I pushed this side was because my teammate left and I needed to hold this beacon down. See, unfortunately, we lost it now. Yeah, we gave it up. You, this I find on this map, most times when you lose the right beacon, you end up losing the game. So that's valuable knowledge because if you're a player that wants to win, if you give up this right side, you will most likely lose. What I'm doing is I'm just trying to recycle my shield. So I'm keeping an eye on my... Um, Keeping an eye on my Aegis. Um. need to reload i'm trying to hold this beacon down i'm not sure where my teammates are probably hiding in the spawn i don't know what they're doing back there this guy's gonna get shredded up his physical shield's gonna be gone trouble
Trying to get close so it's harder for him to uh, aim and hit me. Okay, what? Man, through all of that, we couldn't even get the right beacon. What is this guy up to? What I did was I locked him down. Yeah, we can't get him. Hopefully the work I did back there will help us win. Because we gave up a lot of beacons <laughs> through that process. Ooh, this guy's getting smoked. Yikes. What I'm doing is I'm playing aggressively here because I'm trying to drag their team to their side of the map so that hopefully my team can get the beacons on our end. Still don't understand. How is it we've struggling to get beacons and i've been on this side of the map for most of the game it's because of that low key what do i have oh So the problem with Loki is it's good at getting beacons. The only problem though with the Loki is while he's getting beacons, his teammates not holding them down. So really it's a lost cause. Yeah, so now he dies, but he has all his bots, right? But his whole team is dead. That only works if your teammates hold beacons down. If they don't, it's... You might as well ditch. They have no more bots left. Yeah, if I was him, I would have just, uh, like, captured a couple be uh, beacons and then ditch. To try to hold down. uh what build is good for the archer right now um i would consider running like mace cudgel uh you could try sonic uh flames actually work really well too um i used to run actually those um those weapons even before the nerf because they were pretty solid um you I guess you could try um, the frag shotguns, but I believe those were nerfed, right? Hi, Louise. What modules do I recommend for Shenlo? Uh, so right now, I actually do have two fortifiers on it uh, with the nuclear amp. Uh, but it is on the... It's on the fragile side. You have to kind of be careful though if you run this build because the Shenlo by itself is actually, it's kind of fragile. Yeah, I'm going to go for uh, this guy here. Oh, he knew I was going. He saw me. 
Thing is, he can't get through my shield. Yeah. This guy's trying to get an angle on me, but he's gonna be uh, he's gonna be dropping soon. guy's running Bane? I wonder if I'd run Bane on there. Yeah, Bane actually needs a massive buff. waiting for my ability here because i do have a uh i can use my unstable conduit to lock players down with This build's very good at countering the Aphian. I didn't think it was going to be that good, but when I ran it, I was like, oh my gosh, this is really good at countering Aphians. I don't know how many Aphians I kill with this thing. funny i teleported to him and he teleported to me dude this build is so good against any kind of aegis Ah, oh, come on. I wanted to get that guy, but I teleported back. What does this guy have? Oh. <laughs> I don't think he realized what was going on until he saw his health drop. Oh, that's the other thing I noticed with this build. So that kind of uh, Kiri actually sort of struggles a bit with it because of the shield. He's trying to get through to hit hit me with the subduers. But because the shield is so strong, he's struggling to do that. Like you see my shield going up now. When I teleport, it's, it's going to go up. So now he has to, he has to eat through 100,000 shield. And then when I do that... And I teleport, now it's 200,000. Then I teleport again. He couldn't, <laughs> he couldn't get through the shield. Oh geez, there's another one here. Oh, there's two, is that two Dagons? They have two Dagons. Ooh, ooh. Yeah, now we lock him down and so he has a strong shield. Oh wait, he destroyed. I guess he left the game. He couldn't get through the shield. Wait, was that the guy with the Kyori? He couldn't get through the shield, he just left the game. We have 324,000 shield right now. 
And you know, the more you the more you hit players and you charge up your mothership, you apply the paladin and you get even more shield on top of that. So one of the counters to this sort of build is to run harpoon weapons as well, because then you'll pierce through the shield. You don't have to deal with all of that. Oh, Dorado, I think I saw your comment. I was trying to figure out. So, let's see. If you stay, if you want to stay at where you teleport with the Shenlo, you need to teleport last second of the ability. I have to try to figure that out. Okay, so, uh, what time is it? What's my win-loss ratio? I don't know about now. Um, it tends to fluctuate. A lot of times players think, like, if they have, like, a full meta hanger, all of a sudden they get, like, 80-90%. You may reach 80-90%, but trust me, when you reach that peak, matchmaking will decide that you need to lose because matchmaking is based on the 50%. Uh, then you end up losing a lot like I've been all the way down to like 30% and I'm not trying to lose like it's just I don't know like my teammates give up beacons and stuff oh it's Roger I think is that Roger man I always get confused now I'm thinking everyone's Roger <laughs> happy Friday Is this a code giveaway? I'm the one that's going to be putting in the code. Um, I'm doing it this way because the last time that I did it, there were players that were exploiting and they were picking up multiple prizes for their own account. So I'm not doing that anymore. This hanger looks very similar. Have you tried out this uh, build, guys? <laughs> this build, it's kind of crazy. Okay, um, so I'm going to actually, we're going to do the giveaway right now. Maybe I should put this on slow mode just in case. Because I'm expecting uh, something crazy to happen here. Hold on. What? So two, TBA means to be announced. Which means I'm going to be announcing it right now. So I'm going to be doing the, the rules for the giveaway. Uh, so before I kind of uh, go through the whole rules, what is being given away? So 100 Shen Lows. Okay, so it's this robot over here. Uh, actually, someone was asking me the modules I was using or what are the best modules. There's actually a number of ways you can go about it. A lot's also going to depend on your, your weapons. Um, I tend to use, well, this is what I'm currently using, but I've used everything from uh, nuclear amplifier to two immune amps. You could also do immune or repair. Uh, but again, it, it really depends on your weapons as well. Uh, also your drones, because your drones, you have to counterbalance. Um, yeah, guys, don't post your, don't post your pilot ID. That's not how, if you post your pilot, I, okay, wait, hold on. I'm going to, because no one's listening, right? You guys are all going to lose, just FYI. This... Hold on. I'm, I'm doing it members only because everyone started spamming their pilot ID. Um, that's not the rules. Yeah, so you're going to all... You won't win. Like, it's not going to count. Because I haven't gone through the... Uh, what you need to do in order to uh, enter. Okay, so... I'm going to make I'm going to make the chat available for everyone once I go through the rules. Uh, this way from that point onwards when I release the chat that's what will count. 
uh, from then onwards okay so in order to enter make sure that you do subscribe to the channel if you haven't already make sure that you leave a thumbs up share this video with your friends and answer the question what titan did i use in today's live stream uh, be sure to uh, include your pilot id and your platform with your answer as well and you must answer that question if you just put your pilot id it's not going to count uh, so when the random comment picker that i use when it picks your name if i don't see what the answer is automatic loss you have to answer that question uh, so the winners are going to be announced on march 8th uh, which is going to be i think next friday yeah i think that's next friday okay so that's that let me just go back to hold on i'm gonna release the chat now so hold on i had to do it that way because no one was listening okay so everyone should be able to uh, put their uh, the answer in uh, also 100 of these uh, shen lows let me just go back 100 shen lows uh, this giveaway is 100 percent free it is sponsored by pixonic um, it's open to all platforms so you could be on ios android steam my games amazon oh man there's gonna be so many that are gonna lose i'm just looking at the uh <laughs> i'm looking at the comments you know oftentimes when players tell me that they lose and they never win in my giveaways that's the reason why Okay, so I'm just gonna put that down. Okay, and you actually have two chances to uh, enter. One will be now, and then you can also, like, to increase your chances, also enter after the giveaway is, like, the live stream is done in the comment section. Okay, just do that uh, screen. So winners are going to be announced uh, March 8th. Still trying to figure out how I'm going to do that on March 8th. I think what I might do is I might have to do a community post on that because usually on Fridays I do live streams. Um, but I'll also announce the, the winners probably like I'm going to put it in a pinned comment under this live stream. Just switch back to that screen and uh, we'll run a couple more games. Yeah, always make sure that you, uh, you answer the question. Usually I do that uh, as a way to check to see if someone actually is like watching or they just dropping by and just like spamming pilot IDs everywhere. Uh, should we mention Stella? That's uh, you don't you don't have to be that specific. The serious will do. I need to stop this guy. He's getting close to that beacon. If I can stop him from getting the beacon, I'll keep this beacon white. I wish I had teammates to help you. Yeah. I was hoping I would have teammates to help me on that side, but none were there. <laughs> that's why I that's why I teleported there in the hopes that I could keep that beacon white. If I kept it white, we would have probably got that beacon.
Better hope you have your ability. This build is so nasty. When you get hit by it and you charge, it's kind of crazy. He's teleporting to my teammate. Lost Dan. <laughs> yep. Oh my jeez. Someone else hit him. Oh man, his teammate actually saved him. <laughs> he pushed him to cover. Just getting rid of that guy back there, trying to get rid of their range. You know what I noticed? I don't see, like... Oh, I was gonna say, I don't see Newtons. Now I see one. Ouch. Jeez. That guy got smoked. Oh my gosh, the Newton's very weak. If that's what his choke ability is like now. Honestly, the biggest issue I had with the Newton was the choke. It shouldn't be allowed to raise a player up like that and immobilize him and then on top of that players were linking it Wow, that guy's just healing up. I'm trying to get to this beacon, but they... Oh, wait, I couldn't move. I thought I was locked. That was weird. I thought I was locked there, but I wasn't. Well... Go figure, the one that does the most amount of damage is a Daredevil Favnir. The bendy bullets, yeah, I think they're a little bit too powerful. They're probably going to be the next one that's going to get nerfed. Oh, thank you, uh, Jiznu, for uh, gifting one membership. Thank you so much. Hope the one that uh, got the membership, uh, thanks, is it Jiznu? Oh, 
okay so hold on let me just put that screen up for the ones asking how do you enter how do you enter the giveaway you know what's being given away so 100 chen lows make sure that you do subscribe to the channel if you haven't already make sure that you leave a thumbs up share this live stream uh or this video with your uh, friends and also what titan did i use in today's live stream make sure that you do answer that question when you include your pilot id and your, your platform <laughs> it's gonna make gonna make him jealous it is pretty crazy like i was testing it out actually yesterday i think was it yesterday dude i mowed down like four or five titans it was kind of crazy like what it was doing to the rook especially How was I doing so much damage with this? Um, I have the Daredevil skill on here too. I have the Daredevil and then I'm using my own pilot uh, to boost that damage up further. Uh, you guys have got to post the answer to that question that I put. Let me just put the... Uh... You have to answer the question. You can't just put your pilot ID or platform. Otherwise, your entry is not going to count. Oof, I'm going to be late here to the center because I was putting up that screen. We gotta deal with this guy on the left. My teammate needs help. Wait, is that a Loki? <laughs> I hope that guy on the right side doesn't get that beacon. Here we got a godlike. That almost killed me. <laughs> this build is kind of crazy. The Afians, the amount of Afians that I've killed with it is through the roof. Time for the farm near.
Oh, they got Titans on this side. Hi, Danny. Oh my gosh. We just took out a rook. Locked. Dead. Holy shoot, he just popped. Oh my gosh. The scorpion. Oh, jeez. I don't think he was expecting that. Neither was I. We'll get the serious. We'll just focus on this. <laughs> this does some serious damage. Bye, Rook. Holy jeez. Yep. Oh, we need a heal. Shoot, I think I charged that guy up. <laughs> no! <laughs> yes! That Favnia build's kind of crazy. I might have to do a separate video on that. <laughs> Are you serious? For the ones asking how do you enter, make sure that you subscribe to the channel. If you haven't already, make sure that you leave a thumbs up, share this live stream or video with your friends. And uh, answer the question, what Titan did I use in today's live stream? Be sure to include your pilot ID and your platform with your answer in one comment. Uh, you can enter in the live chat. And also when the stream is done. I actually need to use a Sirius because <laughs> I had it in my, in my hangar, but I haven't really used it. Hi, Rocky. I crash? Oh no. Ah, oh, come on. I could have killed him too. He's trying to get through my shield, but he can't. So, I'm trying to understand here. Why are my teammates not, like, shooting him? Where are they? Because I kept that guy busy for a good couple seconds there. He's still trying to get through. Yeah, now funny they show up. Good thing too.
Yep, he couldn't get through that shield. I'm telling you, that shield's very powerful. Um, what is that? Dude, this thing just murders a fiend. It's not even funny. This might be a bit of a problem, but with this guy, we need to hope that he goes into weapons mode. I don't think he's going to go into weapons mode. Yes. Oh, hi. He's trying to get through my shield too. Thing is, he's got a... So he's got rust weapons, I think, on there, right? He couldn't get through the... He couldn't get through the shield. The shield is so crazy on this thing. We have 300,000 shield. Oh, jeez. Sorry, dude. <laughs> sorry, not sorry. Okay, maybe I should drop in with my Sirius now. Dude, three Sirius! Oh my gosh, this is some serious uh, defense! Bro, I've never seen three Sirius like this. Holy... This guy's like, oh, shoot. <laughs> Heal! Oh my gosh, that guy went down so fast. <laughs> We're healing each other up. Charge! Oh my gosh, what the... Push, guys. We got three serious. They're in serious trouble. Dude, we've even got a kid? <laughs> oh my gosh, this guy just got smoked. Charge! This guy's... He's, he's backed all the way up. Nope. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, you know what? I think that's the Fenrir, right? Wait, what? That almost looked like I killed him with a heal.
Oh my gosh, that was crazy. I didn't think we were going to have three serious. Could you imagine if there were six of us? Good luck with that. So what, these guys all had serious? No, this guy had an Eiffel. You got to admit, that was kind of cool though. It's not like we really see... Um... <laughs> this guy had the kid. I guess the bottom... That was fun though. Yeah, he has a Sirius. <laughs> that was so cool. <laughs> Sirius Stampede. I just pushed. I'm like, they can't stop us all. Like, because it's really hard to bring one of those down. And we're healing each other too. Okay, so for the one asking about the question, what do you need to do in order to enter the giveaway? So make sure that you do subscribe to the channel. If you haven't already, make sure that you leave a thumbs up. Share this live stream or video with your friends. And answer the question, what Titan did I use in today's live stream? Okay, so you answer that question, you put your pilot ID in your platform, in one comment, uh, in the live chat, and you can also do it once the stream is done in the comment section, because I will be choosing winners from both. All right, and uh, the winners are going to be announced on March 8th, which is next Friday. Will you get another Shen Lo if you already won one in the last giveaway? Um, unfortunately, no. Uh, you will be on like a cooldown. Um, so I do that uh, to give others a chance to win as well. So hopefully you kind of understand. Uh, so you can you can probably enter on other channels, but just uh, yeah, if it's on my channel, I do keep track of who wins. So I put them on a on a cooldown, and then once that period is over, then they are eligible to win again. Oh, should I try with the, uh, the Vidras? I kind of want to try, but I think it may not work as well, though. Hey, what if I use Oxy? It may not work as well with the Vidra, but let's try. Wait, did they nerf this? I don't even know if they nerfed these weapons or they buffed it. Devastator, stake, uh, or the new Tesla weapon. You know what? I actually prefer these weapons over the Tesla because if I'm going up against like another Shen Lo, um, well, the thing is with those weapons, you have to knock the Aegis Shield down. With these weapons, you don't actually have to. I actually think this might be the optimum build for it. Um, like, don't get me wrong. Like, the Tesla weapons are really good. Uh, but I've been having more fun with this kind of build. This guy's got a uh, rust. Oh, he's got a combo. Okay, so what I'm what I'm trying to do, I'm watching my Aegis. When it drops really low, then I will teleport if I can. Why do we give up this beacon?
We got to be careful of this player because this player has the wide out. That can be a bit of a problem because if he disables my ability, I can't escape. We're going to go for this guy here. Oh, shoot. No. Oh, oh jeez. I almost got pushed into the abyss and he wouldn't even have known it. <laughs> okay, let's go. Let's go this way. shouldn't have done that yeah thank you this is so effective against like mars typhon dagon's really effective against them too yep and he just spawned in. Skyros when they're in weapons mode. Whew. Oh my. There's a lot of stuff there. You may want to avoid it. Crisis really good at Crisis too. But I've got the Seeker drone on here. That's why. Uh, so the Seeker allows me to see players in stealth up to 200 or uh, 350. Oh, Hi. If he goes in a flight... Oh, wait, is he running the traditionalist? I think he's running the traditionalist. The thing is, I'm just going to use my ability and he can't get through my shield. Yep. That shield's very powerful. Like, if you got fortifiers, even more so. Holy... I kind of want to actually... You know what? Let's do it. I was, I was going to say, I kind of want to do this, but no, we're going to do it. Let's just see. launch that uh oh right oh reload 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 How the heck am I still alive? I <laughs> used my shield. Someone's hitting me from this side. Oh man, holy. You know what? That was actually really tanky. I'm surprised. Yes, okay, so what we have now, guys. Oh, come on. Oh shoot, I charged up someone. We need to get rid of this guy quickly. Oh man. Uh... We only have three players. Three versus five. Ouch. They're right next to each other. I'm killing both of them at the same time. Well, I guess the third one wouldn't harm either. Oh, that guy's on my team. I thought he was actually the enemy. I think actually, I think the Evora might be better because I think it charges up my mothership. 
uh foster thank you kind thank you so much for your donation hi and a team good luck on winning a shen low it's a lot of fun to play so uh kind what uh what build do you like most for your shen low wait i'm gonna i'm gonna change um i'm gonna change your weapons because you guys wanted to see the bendy bullets on here I think they'll nerf the Shenlo. Um, I don't think at this point. I mean, we're seeing them, but not like a ton. Uh, usually, if you see like players with like three or four in their lineup, uh, then yeah, that's usually a sign. Harpoons for sure. Yeah, I like the Harpoons more. I like it. It's kind of funny. I like it more than the electric. <laughs> and they brought the electric out because that was supposed to be like suited for the Shenlo, but I actually prefer the Harpoon. Uh, is the new Titan? No, I don't think so. Uh, there might be some creators that might even have it. Uh, I'm not one of them. Um, but I'm thinking uh, when we get the next uh, the event starts. I was going to go for the Scarrows, but I'm wasting my time with them. We're going to deal with this guy here first. yep so trick uh, a lot of players ask me what how do you counter the shenlo walk backwards when you walk backwards when they teleport they're actually in front of you i would have walked backwards but my teammate was blocking my uh um we're gonna go we're gonna go this way i'm just looking to see where my teammates are whoa 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 this guy should be dead that should have cut through his resistance That, uh, <laughs> this guy's, he was pushing. If he didn't push that guy, I would have killed him quicker. What is this guy behind? That's got to be a crisis, surely, right? Yeah. Oh my gosh, we just... Jeez, that Kyori, he just got shredded up. What is this guy in? That look like a Titan? Oh look, it's a Rook. Oh my gosh. 
Dude, I'm charged. We're charged. <laughs> Oh my! Whoa! Oh jeez, he shouldn't have done that. <laughs> he should not have done that. Oh my gosh! Wait, wait, wait. He lagged. Hmm. That's okay. We'll have a full clip the next round. This guy would get out of my way so that I can shoot him up. Here we go. Where's that guy in? Oh my gosh, this thing is so nasty. So wait, why did they buff the... Well, you know what? Reason why it's so strong is also because I've got the Daredevil on here. Why is this guy... Oh. It's taking these guys so long. Steal it! Oh. Ultimate glory? Yeah, you could use it. I tried actually ultimate glory with... Um, I think I was using flames. What's my opinion on the uh, Fian? I'd have to run it. Um, it's kind of interesting because even during the Fian meta, I wasn't really running the Fian much. Um, sometimes when I see too much of a robot on the field, I don't run it. You know, or I, I will try not to run it just because I want more variety in my videos. Uh, well, uh, for the ones asking how do you enter, make sure that you do subscribe to the channel. If you haven't already, make sure that you leave a thumbs up, share this video or live stream with your friends, and answer the question, what Titan did I use in today's live stream? Be sure to uh, include your pilot ID and platform in one comment in the live chat. And you can also put it in, uh, you know, once the stream is done. Winners are going to be announced March 8th, which I believe is next Friday. Uh, what do I think the best Titan is right now? Uh, probably Eiffel. I don't know. It's hard to sell. Um, hard to really say. So the Eiffel has a lot of firepower, and you know it is hard to bring down. Um, the Newton I think is out of the picture now. It's not. You know, I I said before that when that thing gets a nerf, anything to the choke ability, that's the end of Newton. Uh, well, it's kind of the end of Newton. I think Luchador is probably pretty strong right now too, because Rook was nerfed. Uh, that means I would rank Luchador above. But Sirius got a very big buff. Um, so I wouldn't be surprised if we see more Sirius out there too. Hey, Jal. We didn't get to use the, the Sirius. Can you give your... Uh, so when players ask me that question, it's because they want to find out if they can spam a lot, uh, you know, multiple times to increase their odds. 
one thing that i should warn you about is youtube will pick that up and sometimes they will automatically block you and if they block you i actually don't see your comments so the best way is honestly just put it in once and then when the stream is done there's a guy behind me so you see this guy here he was trying to find me but the thing is so he was trying to get through my shield with the electric right the problem is i've got weapons that go right through his shield Yeah, I would have killed him. The only reason why he killed me was because he had three team, uh, two other teammates. But he was going to totally lose that, that fight. The build that I had is far superior, in my opinion. We need to push some beacons here. We don't have any beacons whatsoever. We've only got one, which is our home. That's not going to cut it. We're going to get that beacon, right? Boy, this guy has a lot of stealth. Wait, how come that guy went into flight and then he just dropped? Is there a bug with um, Ao Jung? Next one's gonna lock you. Yep. Players underestimate this build. They actually underestimate the Daredevil or Favnir in general. They don't think it's going to do a lot of damage. We need to get this beacon back. There's a guy above me too. Oh my gosh, wait, what? How did his health... Use leech. Yeah, I'm not going to put the leech in because it takes me a while to put all the modules, change everything out. Um, so usually I... The guy here. I'll run the leech maybe in a future live stream or like a video if I remember. Um, it did get a buff, so I'll probably put it in a video uh, in the future. Yeah, because it takes... So for me to do that, I have to go in, I have to find the leech, have to put the pilot on, put the skills. It takes like five minutes. You know this game, there's so many parts. This guy's getting shredded up. There's someone behind me too. Wait a minute. Why is that Indra on my team moving so fast?
I forgot I had uh, the bendy bullets on you. Definitely lost. Do I think? Um, I wouldn't nerf the Shenlo at this point. Because the Shenlo itself is actually a very fragile bot. Um, I've seen a lot of players, I think in my Discord. I think it was in my Discord. Oh, that's right. We were down a player. Um, they were saying that the Shenlo is actually very weak and they're trying to make it stronger. Um, the thing is, it is a very fragile bot. Um, it's a glass cannon. What do I recommend building in the workshop? I did a whole series, uh, five robots you should build. You may want to check that series out. Um, it should be in the playlist. Okay, so I think um, I think that's going to be my last game of the stream. Uh, once again, 100 of these Shenlows are going to be up for grab. The giveaway is 100% free. It's sponsored by Pixonic. And it is open to all platforms. So it doesn't matter if you're on iOS, Android, Steam, My Games, Amazon. You can enter in order to enter. Make sure that you do subscribe to the channel. If you haven't already, make sure that uh, you leave a thumbs up share this video or live stream with your friends and also in the most important part uh answer the question what titan did i use in today's live stream include your uh, pilot id and your platform with your answer in one comment and you guys can enter again once the stream is done in the comment section as well okay so winners are going to be announced march 8th and i'll probably put it like in a pinned comment under the stream and i'm thinking maybe because usually on fridays i live stream so i might have to put it under like next friday's live stream in the comments once that stream is done uh, so i think that's what i'll probably end up doing ability duration i don't know how it's gonna get nerfed down if it i think if they if they did nerf it um one of the things that i would probably like if i was leaning towards a nerf maybe affecting the shield when it teleports because you got to keep you got to keep what makes a shenlo like still there right the, the ability to teleport so if you if you take away like the number of teleports for example or like if it's too like maybe the the cooldown is increased then that's fine um but you can't like remove the number of teleports or whatever because then it just becomes a scorpion uh if you don't know how to spell serious no I'll, it's okay i can see I don't know what you mean. Not everyone speaks English as their first language. How do you get on the test server? I usually just type in WR test if you're on Android. I don't know about iOS though. Um, iOS I think has been having issues lately. So uh, Titan Flame. I actually don't have it on this account. Yeah, unless they put it on this account. But from what I understand, I don't think we have it. Yeah, because I don't have I don't have the bed for yep. I don't have any of these uh those weapons yet. I think it's still gonna be delivered. You surprised? Yeah, I'm actually surprised that it even works. Uh usually it makes me nervous running like two forty fives because I don't have like a last stand or anything. But this is why I said surprisingly it's not that bad. Uh mind you, I am combining uh you know all of this with the pilot and the seeker uh but still like even if i'm comparing to some of the um the stronger balls like if i were to run like a pascal i think i would still lead more towards this 
this build. That shield's very, very strong when you do it like that. I mean, you saw what I was doing to the Kyuri. Like, it couldn't break through my shield. Actually, uh, also the other thing too, so the last game where that Chenlo killed me, you've got to factor in that I was getting shot by two of his teammates and him at the same time. Uh, so I was able to survive for a decently long time. Uh, but if I was going up one-on-one -on -one versus the electric Chenlo, you would win hands down because he has to still knock your shield down. And while he's doing that, you've already got him down to his last stand. Or that's if he has a last stand. If he doesn't, he's probably dead. Because I was piercing through his shield, so I don't have to worry about his shield. Whereas he has to still knock mine down, and I have fortifiers, I've got the seeker on there. Uh, the other thing too is I'm charging up my mothership in that process too. Uh, Fainbow, good on the uh, links. You know what, I tried, I tried those weapons on the links, I didn't really like it. Um, I think you need a bit more range because you have to be like 100 meters. Uh, for the links, I think I still prefer like uh, redeemers, hammers, punches is really good. I think I still would lean towards those. Uh, shoot, is the gameplay over? Yep, the gameplay is uh, over. I'm just ask, uh, answering some questions. Oh, sorry for the... Um, I just realized we had a donation there. Sorry about that. Uh, thank you to, I can't even read your name, but thank you so much uh, for your donation earlier. Uh, you get 500k shield every time it's going to get nerfed. Uh, well, the 500k that I'm talking about is more something that you achieve over time. It's not you just drop in and then you have 500,000. So just to kind of uh, specify or like... Like, if you go back to the live stream, you will notice when I drop in, I don't have 500,000. Uh, the reason why I had that 500,000 uh, over time is because every time I'm teleporting, I'm gaining shield. And on top of that, I have the uh, uh, the Paladin to give you, me additional. Uh, so I'm building up that shield. Uh, do you think you can play Leech in Master League? Um, you can play it in Master League, but I think you might struggle. Um, I'd have to run. I'd have to run the Leech again. I've seen a couple of players with it. The thing is, um, when players ask me like, can a certain build work in like Expert or like Diamond? You really want to try to focus on builds that you can you can use in Champion League. Because if I told you that the Leech works really well in Master you're going to spend all your time and resources leveling it up. And then when you get to Champion League, you're going to find it's not really that effective. So wouldn't it have just been made more sense to ask me, would it work in Champion League? Because if the answer was no, then you could have saved all your time and resources on leveling it up. You know what I mean? Uh, so that that's, the, that's why I will kind of, I still steer players in certain directions because I think in the long term, it will save them time and like resources. Uh, thank you, Hatchy. Thank you so much for your donation. Much appreciated. Thank you, guys. Great stream, Aiden. What are your thoughts on the rebalance? Percy, you enjoying the bot? Yeah, I think the game is a lot more uh, balanced now. Um. I'm just trying to think like which so I still find like the iPhone I think is is too powerful for what what we have right now like based on what I'm seeing uh, because not only is it really hard to kill that thing it's outputting way too much damage which uh, boils down to the boils down to these bendy bullets I think they need to be uh, rebalanced um, I'm still not sure how I feel about the Afian I need to play the Afian I mean, I was killing a lot of Ephians, but you gotta remember, the reason why I'm killing them is because I have a counter. Like, it's a hard counter. If you have a hard counter, then even if it had no nerf, I would still kill it because, you know, I'm, I'm shooting through the shield. There's nothing you can... 
It's nothing that the uh, Fiend can do. Seventy-five percent nerf on the dampers. Um, I would have to run those weapons. Like even when they were meta, I, I was trying to avoid using them. Um, yeah. But you have to kind of think. Rust weapons in general were really bad for the game because like you can't heal. You know you can't heal up from that, which is really bad because you're wasting power cells. Kyrie at, is at number one now. Uh, Kyrie was already at number one ahead of Archo before the nerfs. Uh, so yeah, it is number one, but it was number one before the uh, before the nerfs too. It's just that players hadn't figured it out yet, but it was definitely far stronger than Archo. Always like the change. I think one thing that I'm not sure if I would have done if I was Pixonic is to buff. Because they buff like the... I think they buff the Avenger, like the Ultimates, right? Uh, the Punisher T, I can kind of see where they were going with that. Because I was running this build uh, before. And it wasn't really doing that much damage, even with the Daredevil. But I'm finding it's actually doing a little bit too much damage now. I mean, you saw what I was doing to Titans with this thing. It's kind of actually crazy. I don't know what the damage numbers are, uh, but I don't really need to know. Because if I'm shredding up a Titan, that's all I need. You know, like if I'm if I'm able to like shred through a Rook, then I probably can shred through an Eiffel too. <laughs> and if I'm able to do that with this kind of build on a Favnir, then I know that it's doing too much damage. So I think they went a little bit too far with the uh, the ultimates. Um, the I haven't tested out the invader, but I know the ultimate invader is not really that great, so it's a little bit better now. They're not supposed to be nurse, so why not? Which these? I don't, I just find that's doing way too much damage. But, you know, you got to kind of factor in too that I have Daredevil on here. So, I mean, you can't... It's not like you can put these on like the Fenrir and run the Daredevil. Fenrir. Flamethrower? No, I think they did the Punishers too. Let me just look it up. I think they did the Punishers, right? Uh, let's just see. I'm going to go to their site now quick. Let's see. Um, hmm. Yeah, so the Ultimates, they have Punisher T. Plus 15%. <laughs> that's crazy yeah so they they have the blaze igniter orkin pulsar okay so i can kind of see the pulsar uh the punisher t i could kind of see it but i think 15 percent might might have been a little bit too much you know at this point they should have done it like incrementally yeah the punishers were buffed but 15 percent jeez Even against Titan, uh, this one here. I, I need to test out the Kestrel uh, more because I was running it on the um, I was running it on the Scorpion, and I had one game where it was doing a lot of damage. Hello, five. <laughs> what the Fortnite? We'll be doing that later on. Oh, 
Oh, Dice is putting the uh, the stats of the uh, buffs and nerfs. Yeah. Why not use the Typhon instead of the Favnir? Uh, because the Favnir, when it's on the ground, it has resistance. So if it has resistance, it allows me to use other modules. So for example, knowing that it has resistance, when I put the Pasco on, it will give it more resistance, but that means I am open to use different modules on the build itself. So I have immune amplifier uh, to give it more speed because the Favnir is kind of slow, but it also gives it more health. If I was to run the identical build on a Typhon, the Typhon, when it's, uh, well, I mean, it doesn't fly or anything, it doesn't have resistance. You will have to apply resistance to it, which means I would have to use uh, the Pasco along with two repair amps. So if I'm using two repair amps, I won't have the speed, nor will it have additional health. And also the Typhon doesn't have resistance, so I have to give it resistance uh, for that. But yeah, if I had to run the identical build on like a Typhon, then it would probably look something like... Let's see, where's my Typhon here? It would probably look something like this with the uh, Punishers, and then I would use the Daredevil. But if I use Daredevil, I don't have the EMP. But that is fine because I'm, you know, I'm turning it into a tank and I'm outputting more damage. Uh, what do I think is the best Titan, but not the Eiffel? So, if we had to reword that, what is the second best Titan, in other words? What I would do is, I would... I would probably lean more towards maybe Luchador. I don't know, Luchador... Dare I say even serious? I don't know. Like, I'd have to run Luchador again. Um, the Rook is out of the picture because the Rook was nerfed. Therefore, the Lucha, Luchador I would rank higher than Rook. Uh, but the Sirius got, uh, it got a really good buff. Like, I'd have to run, I'd have to run more games. Bye, Lucky. Lucky or Lucky? No, that sounds weird. Lucky? Doesn't Favnir take... Yeah, it has resistance. You have deep end points. But this is when you're on the ground, right? If you go... If you go in a flight, you lose it. This is why I don't fly. Because, well, I mean, my ability that I have is clipping its wings. Which is weird because this is... Probably one of the strongest it has ever been. I mean, it was very strong when you could fly. But I think... Like, I'm just trying to think. Like, even if the Favnir didn't get nerfed, I think it would still be in trouble because it's just so many counters to it. I mean, you could easily run a Crisis with Decay and you could smoke the thing. You know, like, you would have... Uh, it, it, you'd be able to shoot through the, the Absorber Shield for one. Uh, but even that aside, it's not like the the Favnir had an Absorber Shield all the time. It only had it when it was absorbing the damage. So I guess you could stack resistance, but even then, I'm not sure how long that Favnir would survive. Because someone would hit it with like rust weapons and he couldn't be you wouldn't be able to heal. So you'd be in trouble anyways. Uh, you never like the Daredevil Favnir as it removes its purpose of being um, a counter to Titans. Well, you may uh, watch the stream from the start and you will see what the Daredevil Favnir with Punishes will do to Titans. Because what you're doing is you're boosting your damage. And if you have something like this which cuts through resistance, those Titans are just going to melt. Um, I was melting through rooks like it was nothing. Now, mind you, I was using, uh, you know, punishes here, but even even so, like, 
if we didn't have punishes and i was using like hazard it would be melting through bots and if i wanted to make it counter like a rook i would run igniters or something because it will just burn through them hey greg don't forget to answer the question your entry won't count Uh, could the armadillo work? If you are able to get kills and get beacons, yeah. You gotta make sure that you get that though. Uh, why not the... Oh, you're talking about armadillo? Yeah, because you gotta get beacons first and you have to get kills... I'm using Pascal because Pascal is the best uh, drone right now in terms of damage and defense, in my opinion. Uh, this one's actually, it's not only giving me uh, resistance, it's giving me damage as well, extra damage. Ultimate Orkin on Favnir. Um, you, I'm pretty sure it will be deadly, but you don't have sustained damage. You know, like, if you want to deal with multiple players, I don't know how that would fare. Um, other weapons. I actually like the Evora, and the Vajra wasn't bad. But those are all close range builds. I think if you're going to play range. Oh, I don't know. What would I use for range? I'd have to run. I'd have to run test. Like I don't want to recommend something and it doesn't work and you end up leveling it up. Um, usually when I run serious i tend to run evora or like today i ran the vajras i was running the tumultus but i still think actually evora might be best um because i usually brawl with it uh, but you got to keep in mind if you're going to brawl with a serious you got to have titan repair amps on it otherwise you're going to keep your distance which means you probably want more range How do you enter the giveaway? Uh, there we go. Now make sure that you do subscribe to the channel. If you haven't already, make sure that you leave a thumbs up. Share this video or live stream with your friends. And also answer the question, what Titan did I use in today's live stream? Uh, so you answer that question, put your pilot ID and your platform in one comment. And uh, you can also enter after the stream is done. You can put it in the comment section. That way you get two entries. Uh, try to stream Fortnite in the mornings too. Um, the thing is, usually in the mornings I'm recording and I'm editing stuff for like War Robots, my video the, the following day. Um, so if I do that, then there will be no stream Fortnite at night. Yeah, for the for the ones who are wondering like that question, so I have a Fortnite channel as well. Um, I stream Fortnite at night <laughs> usually around about 7 p.m eastern um and i've been doing that for about a year and a half now i think every night for the most part we had some haters last night well last night and the the night before no one likes my sniping skills which is funny because the ones in war robots usually say that i don't know how to snipe no, I actually know how to snipe. It's just that I do it differently. War Robot is not like your typical, like you sit back and snipe the whole time. You have to know when to uh, be aggressive. When to ditch too. I think actually what makes a very good sniper in War Robots is a player that they're very aware of like, uh, you know, what their team is going through. Like if they notice, for example, their teammates are losing a lot of bots. Um... You know, at that point, you got to ditch. 
or like you might be in a sniper and you notice the enemy is going to be pushing your home beacon and there's no one there you've got to be willing to ditch and the the ones that know how to do those things and they have very good battlefield awareness those are the snipers that you should be watching because they are the ones that can turn the tide like if you're not careful because their awareness you can't get past and like if you try to do something sneaky they will catch you and they will ditch to protect those are the strongest players um or the, i should say the strongest snipers in the game uh is this on twitch or youtube which the fortnite i stream on youtube What is the ultimate pulsar good for? Uh, it's good for like range. Like for example, I could run it on something like this. I mean, we have 500 meter range. The only difference is gonna be 600 uh, and lockdown, of course. Um, but like even even hazard hazard on this Bavnia build is very strong. It's one of the strongest builds I would say for the Favnia. Is this a uh, Stellar series right now? It's very strong. Like um, I've been like I know I, I was killed a couple times, but you know in the games I played, I've actually gone up against like say rooks for example, and they couldn't kill me. Um, when we got the update, I don't know if Kind's still in the chat, and he can confirm this because I was streaming uh, streaming on Discord. He wanted to see. Um, so I was fighting this one Luchador in front of me. <laughs> it was on Rome map. I was fighting this Luchador in front of me, and while I'm shooting him. I didn't realize there was a luchador behind me that was shooting me but i managed to kill like both of them died and i still survived simply because of the serious <laughs> or the healing and i think i had my titan repair ms charged too uh maze or spikes on the leech Ooh, i would probably go with maze I don't know it depends on what you're going up against though like if i'm going up against a dagon like if there's a lot of dagons probably the spike but you gotta remember you gotta get close though how did i play to get everything okay so this account does not belong to me just to be clear uh this account belongs to pixonic um, so how did I get the account? I'm one of the featured channels of the game. I've been covering the game since 2015. Yeah, I started playing in 2014. Um, I didn't have the account back then though. I think I only got it like three or four years after. Before then I was like, I had, I used my own personal account. But I haven't, I haven't used my personal account in like over a year now. I used to run with my clan and that was the paid account. Like I would actually put money into it. Uh, but I stopped playing it when I noticed so many players were cheating. They were cheating and exploiting. And at that point I was like, well, you know what? It's no point me putting money into the account when my opponent is just cheating. Yeah, if they want me to start spending on that account again, then they need to deal with the cheaters. Okay, I think that's going to be it uh, for the stream, guys. Um, before I get going, thank you very much to Dark Warrior Loan, Dominic Kine. Uh, Dies, Peter, you were around. Thank you so much for moderating the live stream chat. Also, thank you very much to uh, Boss Baby, to Run, to Jiznu, uh, Kine. Um, I'm trying to think, is that Arabic? I'm trying to read your name, but uh, thank you so much. Uh, also, Hechi and Dies, thank you so much, guys, for your donations, for your membership gifts. And for the ones who did get membership gifts, I hope you guys thanked uh, whoever you got the gift from. 
And also thank you guys for dropping by and watching the stream and uh, participating as well. So um, for the ones who just dropped by, how do you enter? So there's going to be 100 Shenlos uh, that are going to be up for grabs. The giveaway is 100% free. It is sponsored by Pixonic and open to all platforms. So it doesn't matter if you're on iOS, Android, Steam, My Games, Amazon, you can enter. In order to enter, make sure that you do subscribe to the channel. If you haven't already, make sure that you leave a thumbs up. Share this live stream with your friends. And uh, also the most important part, answer the question, what Titan did I use in today's live stream? So be sure to include your pilot ID and your platform in one comment. Uh, both in the live chat, if you want uh, to increase your chances of winning, then make sure that you post uh, afterwards in the comment section when the stream is done. You don't need to spam, uh, just also be careful of spamming because I've seen players do that. Um, if you do that, YouTube can sometimes pick it up and they can block your comment and I won't see it at all. So you're actually, you're working against yourself in that your odds will be worse if you spam. Okay, so winners will be announced March 8th. On a phantom, uh, yeah, on a phantom, I don't know. Wait, you said phantom typhon. I'm confused. Yeah, they, they did buff the phantom. So I'll be taking a look at that at the leech. Uh, the revenant was buffed too. Okay, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the stream. If you did, make sure you leave a thumbs up. And if this is the first time you happen to drop by my YouTube channel or my live stream, I hope you enjoyed today's live stream. Uh, for the ones asking about Fortnite, I do also live stream Fortnite. Um, I have a Fortnite uh, well, YouTube channel called Zoopy Loop. And maybe I'll put that in the... Well, actually, wait. Yeah, I might put that in the, in the chat or in the... Um, the pin comment as well so if you're interested you can drop by i usually stream uh that game at night 7 p.m yeah so i kind of work on like all war robot stuff during the day <laughs> and then at night i stream that uh, have i picked the dream hanger for the next bit no 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 not yet um actually this week coming up because it's going to be a very busy week there may not be a dream hangers uh, video or i should say next week because that's when the update, uh, speaking of which, yeah, so we have three days left. So next week, the update's going to be activated. That's when we're going to have the Titan and the new weapons and stuff, which I want to cover first. Uh, we also have a new robot, I believe. New robot and new weapons on the test service. So I'll be testing that out. Uh, not sure if I'm going to be able to release uh, that video this weekend, though. Uh, so the next week's going to be very busy. hyphen okay so i think i think that should be it um but yeah thank you guys so much for uh dropping by thank you for watching hope you enjoyed today's uh live stream and i guess until the next live stream i'll catch you guys later cheers guys